time to die. I sell no lies, only the painful truth. Get over here and face me, heathen. Yes, you're helpless now. This will teach. Cut the video. Hey guys, do you remember that really old game called Guns, The Duel? You may even have had the privilege of playing it and now you suffer from nostalgia just like me. It was a pretty chaotic and fun game. Not that I ever got to play it properly since my computer at the time looked like this and my internet looked like this. Anyway, there is a new game coming out on August that may interest all you the duel lovers. It is called Naraka Blade Point, and I got to play the last beta before the release, a few weeks ago. I have to say, it was a pretty interesting experience. I played it almost every day all day until my eyes were bleeding out and I don't regret it one bit. Yeah, Naraka is the game you can see in the footage right now, if you still didn't catch that. Get out of here, girl. And stay down. Repair. Get out of here. I needed that. Get out of here. Repair. So, it is a battle royale, but not a very traditional one. This one is focused on melee combat, movement and verticality. You can use swords and spears, you can grapple and parkour around the buildings. And you can also be a coward and fire at enemies from a distance with muskets and bows. Not to mention each character also has a set of skills to use, like this guy that turns into Sonic with fire on his feet, and can even shoot fireballs. Sometimes the parkour system doesn't quite work very well, but it is alright. Wait, did I just kill Siri? Oh no. I'm so sorry Geralt. What the hell is this guy doing? He's got one of the special weapons, it is kind of a fireworks launcher. But he doesn't know how to escape from my ultimate. Sorry dude. Too late to choose an epitaph. The main mechanics of combat are very simple, but highly effective and this is what I like about them. They're pretty fun. It seems kinda like a brawler slash fighting game, but not as complex. People say it is like a rock, paper, and scissor, right? So, you have the blue charged attack, which is strong against normal attacks, and these are strong against parries, which in turn are strong against blue charged attacks. By the way, this is not going to be a guide in any way. I don't think I'll ever upload a guide about anything on this channel. Because you see, in this world there are two types of people, people that write guides, and people that read guides. I am the latter, obviously. So the combat system is kind of a mind game with your opponent, and overall it is pretty fair. At least when the game is working as it should. Sometimes my hits or parries would just not register. When you parry a focus attack, which is the blue charge one, the opponent is supposed to lose his weapon. This girl didn't lose hers here, instead I got slapped around and died. This happened quite a few times during the games. This is probably a good time to talk about a very bad thing in this game, at least during beta. The game had serious optimizations issues, which caused it to stutter a lot, as well as server and latency problems. I know I don't have a truly good gaming PC, 
but the game should have run completely smooth either way with the setup I have. The developers worked on a fix and it got a little better in the last couple of days of the beta, but it was still far from perfect. Let's hope it is better when the game releases. During beta we had access to two game modes, the usual battle royale mode, which could be played in solos or trios, The best victory is Wait, the kind Wait, Siri won the match? Left Siri is back? Okay. I will have my vengeance, Siri. And a solo deathmatch one called Bloodbath, which was incredibly fun. It is worth mentioning that you can find in this game some stuff that are very common in other Battle Royale games. Like the fact that you get killed by multiple people when your teammates go to Narnia, and the fact that most games end in a third-party attack. Also, the fact that sometimes you get completely destroyed by a player that turned into a giant boss enemy. Or is this just on this one? Anyway, this game also has incredible soundtrack, just listen to this lobby music. Actually, this game has good sound design overall, listen to this ambient. Together with the visuals, it kinda gives me a Dark Souls vibe. Maybe it is also because of the dark spirits that every player leaves behind when they die. And then there is also the fact that there is combat music that starts when you encounter an enemy. Thank you. Just remember, no good deed goes unpunished. And then the music ends when the battle is over. Too late to choose an epitaph. Repair. Pretty awesome in my opinion. Another problem during beta was the overpopulation of bots. They were kind of annoying and plenty of times they would remove your immersion when you encountered them. Here are two indicators of someone being a bot. 1. He runs into walls. You're more valuable dead. And 2. He tries to climb through the ceiling. Aside from that, another bad thing is, this game won't be free to play. But it also has microtransactions with skins and such. So, we seriously hope this game doesn't turn out to be just a cash grab. A lot of people who love the game are worried that the game population will be too small at release, since people will have to pay to play. I also have this worry. So, buy the game and tell your friends to do the same. And send them this video while you're at it. The cosmetics are actually very cool. And I love the fact that you can we customize can and basically completely separately. change your character appearance. Oh, have I mentioned the fact that there is a giant dragon in the sky that shoots lightning at you? I also like the physics of this game. Anyway, in the end this game takes inspiration from games like Apex Legends. It even has a nice ping system. Mozambique here. But it takes a nice twist on it with the combat and movement. This game has a lot of potential, and I give the beta 8 out of 10. If it fixes the optimization issues and the game doesn't turn out to be too greedy with microtransactions, it may very well be almost a 10 out of 10 to me. That will be it this time guys. Remember to like and subscribe and be sure to leave a comment with your opinion on this game. Do you want to play it? Maybe you want to see more of my gameplay from the beta?
you can also leave a suggestion for the next game for me to experience. Bye bye. I am the giant now.